Good day to everyone. I'm Mad Wantamad and welcome to another video here at Madodo's channel. For today's video, we are going to show you a 5-month-old system somewhere here in uh, San Mateo, Rizal. So this is a hilltop system. So we are at a higher elevation. So the temperature here is uh, a little bit lower. No? So it ranges from uh, 25 degrees to 28 degrees Celsius. So as you can see, uh, because it's a lower temperature or a higher elevation aquaponic system, the pl the plants here are thriving. No? So follow me and let's go to the fish tank over there. So because this is a five month old system, uh, some of the tilapia are now ready to harvest. So what we do to harvest the tilapia is we have uh, a few 200 liter drums over here and we use a hose to siphon off the water. So it's very easy to siphon off the water. You just fill the hose like this one. You fill the hose with water. And then as the water displaces the air inside the hose, you create a siphon. So you put one end here. This is, this is the reverse, no? So you put one end here in the drum and you put one end here in the fish tank and then you release. Okay? So by having that vacuum, as you can see over here, water is displaced from the fish tank or from the drum to the fish tank. So we did that in reverse and we arrived at this level. No? So the fish tank now is at a, a half level. Okay? So we do that to be able to catch the tilapia easier. No? So here we have... Uh, net over here so let's try to catch one tilapia so the tilapia here are already very big no so let's let me see if i can catch a big one for you no? oops they're jumping see they're nice and big so you can use the net to herd them on one area of the tank no? So it's easier for it's easier for you to catch it. They're very fast swimmers. Oops, that's a big one. Let's see if I can catch some uh, that big one. It's also good practice to uh, drain the water or half the water in your fish tank so the fish will not jump off your tank, no? So you don't want them jumping off your tank because of course you risk uh, killing them no, when they land. Huh? So here are big tilapia. So we'll re we will return some of the small ones in the tank. Oops. Suddenly they're very slippery. And very very sharp, no? So you have to be very careful, no? The spikes are very sharp. I just got poked by one, no? So you hold them by the head and you can try to look for the sex. So here we have two holes, no? Uh, one hole and another hole there and it's a U shape. So this is a female. So we have a live well over here. We put them there. So those are the catch a while ago. So some are 350 grams, some are 250 and some are uh, 300 grams, no? So you add the aeration to the bucket so they don't die, no? So we will purge this uh, tilapia before we cook it, no? Okay? And then we will now return, when we're done harvesting, we will now return the water back to the fish tank, no? So how do you return it? Again, you start a siphon using a hose and then you release simultaneously sometimes the siphon will not start so it's easy you just re repeat the step so you, you have to make sure that there's water inside and you have to make sure that you release simultaneously now you release your thumb here and your thumb here at the same time so by doing that you start the siphon so let's zoom in on the siphon started so the siphon has started and now we can start to fill up the fish tank water. Okay, so we open the valve and 
drain it there. No? So we leave this here uh, for a while to uh, fill up the fish tank. And now I will go to the, to the filter side to do the filter cleaning. So follow me to the filter. So here in the filter, uh, we do a, a monthly maintenance depending on the stocking ratio. Uh, and it's a very easy uh, step to clean your filter. Uh, you have a bucket here and your, fil uh, your filter adapter. You have here the DuraFlow Mini. It's called the DuraFlow Mini because it has a radial stage over here, a static stage here, another radial stage here, and a, an MBBR on the outside. So we transfer the air from the MBBR to the static bed. Okay, so by a, by a valve here on the far end. So by transferring the air here, you agitate the static bed. So by agitating the static bed over here, you get rid of all the muck there, stuck in the static bed, and then you lift this up. Sometimes it's slippery. You lift this up, and then you open a valve here. And then you shut it off and then you place it back here you just look for the hole again this takes a little practice but when you get the hang of it uh, it's easy to do let me look for the hole There you go. So by returning your standpipe, you can now turn off the backwash here, the backwash valve here, and all the water will go now go to the fish tank over there. Okay. And this one, uh, the sludge we collected from our filter, you can decant, return the water here, or because we don't have nutrient deficiencies, because this is only a four grow bed system and the plants are growing nicely without any deficiency, we can uh, add this one to our soil-based uh, garden over here. So here we have some chili plants over here. Uh, it's nice and uh, fruiting already. These are the local uh, ceiling labuyo, and you can use that uh, nutrient-filled water to water them, okay? So we'll water some other plants on the property at the back, okay? And then now, after the filter has converted all the nitrates into ammonia, uh, all the ammonia into nitrates rather, it will now go to our floating raft over here. So this floating raft, floating raft has uh, romaine uh, lettuce. No? So, so the romaine are nicely growing here. And it goes to the next floating raft. We have some basil cuttings we are trying to root. So again, they are stressed because they don't have roots yet. Uh, we are cloning them to add more basil to the system. Here we have uh, Lolo Rosa, some uh, Lolo Bionda. Uh, these are all pelletized seeds no, from the Netherlands. So we, we tried pelletized seeds here because this has a higher elevation and uh, uh, lettuce are nice and big here. No? So again, we have, uh, I think this is a junction or lo uh, these are curly leaf, uh, romaine, some Lolo Rosa. This is already uh, bolting. Uh, again, they have an abundance of lettuce here, so they harvested some and just leave some to box, okay? Here we have some basil. Now, to prevent the basil from uh, dying uh, and uh, seeding, you can trim off the flowers of the basil. So by trimming off the flowers, you prevent the basil from going into seed and dying. And then you can clone some of the basil, so the old basil, they cloned it. A while ago and transfer them here for rooting okay so let's uh, remove some and at the back here we have some uh, talong so here we have some huge talong here as you can see uh, nice talong here and here some are some huge mint no so nice for uh, 
uh, mint tea or mojitos. No? They're very huge and very uh, fragrant uh, leaves. No? See how large the leaves are. Okay, so these are Thai basil. And at the back end, let's go to the back end. So we'll just wait for our camera to go there. So at the back end, I'm going to pass here. We have some tomatoes over here. The tomatoes are now nice and flowering. Uh, the leaves are very nice and green. They don't have any deficiencies and they're starting to flower. No? So we'll wait for them to fruit and we'll add the trellis over here. No? So we'll add the wire or uh, string and tie it to the uh, fence over here so that we can utilize the not just the horizontal space but also the vertical space for growing okay now the fish tank is already uh, three-fourths full and I'll transfer some of the water later after the video no? so to recap again we have our four grow bed system somewhere here in, in, in San Mateo Rizal in the four grow bed system uh, it's already five, the four grow bed system is already five months old so we harvested some of the tilapia that are already 300 grams to 350 grams as not to overcrowd or overstock the tank we cannot uh, stock it uh, we cannot uh, stock it beyond the 100 because we only have four grow beds no? so we can stock it above uh, 100 if uh, we have uh, 10 grow beds no? uh, because this is only a four grow bed system we have to lessen the population when some of the fish are already big, no? So, again, uh, we have a gravel bed over here. In the gravel bed, we have nice basil, uh, some chili plants, eggplant, uh, tomato, mint. And here we have some uh, lettuce, uh, lolo bionda, lolo rosa, uh, romaine lettuce. And the far end, we have all romaine lettuce, no? So, if you have uh, questions about aquaponics, uh, don't forget to leave your comments down below and we'll answer them in our future videos. So, we also have our Facebook page, Modular Aquaponics, if you, uh, if you are interested in our equipment. And don't forget to like, share, and hit the notification bell when you subscribe to my channel on YouTube. So again, thank you for watching.